Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to take a look at Divi's latest update. Section dividers. Okay, so let's explore some of the examples that I have here. So I just went in and I quickly made this change to my section. Over here, I made another change. And then I also have this design here on my section. So what I'll be going through this tutorial is to show you where you can find these section dividers and also the best practices and how you can apply them onto your website. So let's dive in and let me show you step by step how I managed to achieve this. Okay, so before we get started, if you'd like to learn how to design websites using Divi, I have a course which I'll link to in the show notes below. Even better, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I'll give you access to this course absolutely free. So check out all the links in the show notes below. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is to go into my visual builder. To access your section dividers, it's very simple. All you have to do is to come over here to your section settings. Click on design and then you're going to find this new entry called dividers. So all you got to do is to click it and then you need to decide where you want to have your divider, either on the top or on the bottom. So in this case, I'm going to have it on the bottom. So make sure that is that is selected before you apply anything. This will be set by default to none. So as you can see here, it's, there's nothing going on there. So you have to click this drop down and choose which divider that you like. So there are several, as I mentioned, I can choose this one if I wanted to and then make further adjustments like that. So I'm adjusting the angle right now. And then I can also adjust the repeat like that. I can make it go crazy if I wanted to, but I'm just going to come over here and choose something that's quite subtle. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one right here and then I'm going to minimize the repeat and then increase the height a little bit. Okay, so you can see that's working really nice. Now, the reason why I went with this is because if you add color to this divider, what it what happens is you get this going on here. Now, ideally, if you're having a section divider, you want the color of the section beneath to continue over to the section divider right here. So that's why, because I have white here, I'm going to keep it white. But I'm going to show you a, another example where, you, where we have color. So I'm going to go ahead and save this for now. And then over here on the bottom, you can see here that we have color on this one. So I'm going to go into my section settings, click on design, and then I'm going to come over here to dividers. So again, it's set to, in fact, let's set this to the top because we want to affect this part of the divider. So this is where, again, you can choose which divider you want. So I can go with this one, for example, or if I need to go with this, I could go with that one. But as you can see, as I'm selecting these, these colors that are coming here on these uh, dividers are derived from this section itself. So you don't have to mess around and go in and start matching your colors. This is done automatically, which I think is a very, very good thing. OK, so as I mentioned, you can also play around with more options here. So let's say I choose. Let me see. I want to find, I want to find something totally different. So let's go ahead and choose this one here. OK, there's further options that you can customize here. So over here I can choose this one to flip it. So now you can see it's it's now changed to the top and I can also flip it here. So it goes to the right. So you can see this is very, very flexible. You can make this the way you want it. And again, you can also change the repeat so you can have this going like that. But to be honest, you want to keep this simple. So I'm just going to keep it at one pixel. OK, so let's go to the bottom one. So if I click here on bottom, we have this design right here so I can come in and maybe choose that if I wanted to. And again, I'm going to I can change my divider height. OK, so as you can see, this is very, very flexible. You can also come over here to a divider arrangement and either choose underneath section content or you can choose on top of a section content. So this this is used in cases where you have, say, a lot of text or you have an image, but you want your section divided to cover the actual image or not. So you have that option right there. Now, my rule of thumb when using these section uh, section dividers is do not go overboard with this and also choose 
section dividers that work with the actual image. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to save this for now and then we're going to change this image right here. So I'm going to come over here to my section settings, click on background and then we're going to change this image here and choose something different. So let's say I'm going to go with this eagle. I'm going to upload an image. So this section divider works but it's even better if you used something that looks like clouds because this bird is flying. So let's see how that's going to look. So I'm going to come over here to divider, making sure that uh, I choose bottom. I'm going to find my clouds or something that looks similar to clouds. So I'm going to come right here like that. So straight away you can see that that looks way much better. It looks like the bird is flying above the clouds, which I think looks really cool. So this is one of those decisions that you need to make as you're designing this and see what, uh, what you think works. But in my opinion, uh, this way of thinking about these section dividers actually really works. It works, I mean, it works very well if you have some real thought behind what you're applying here. Okay, so this is the image of the, uh, the eagle. Let's try something different. So I'm going to come back over here to my section settings, click on background, and uh, this time... I am going to choose, let's say, this one right here, which has water. So again, you can see here by default, the water does not work with this section design. So for that one, I am going to change it to something that looks like a wave. So I'm going to come over here to divider, click on bottom. And this time I'm going to choose this one right here. So now you can see that this really looks much, much better. It's simple and it works with the water that we have here because this is like a wave. So this is how I would use this and I'll use them in a very subtle way. I wouldn't really go overboard because by going overboard, it just makes it look very amateurish. Okay, so let's see if we have another example of this. So I could go with this one as well. So this one could work. But uh, as I mentioned, I would like to go simple. So I would just choose this one right here for that part. And then I'm just going to save. And the good thing as well is you can also use parallax on these backgrounds. So let's do that quickly. Uh, just for this design, I'm going to come over here to use parallax effect. So you can either use true parallax or you can use CSS. Now for this, I prefer CSS because by doing that, it looks like the level of the water is going up. So that is really cool. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save. And then over here as well, you can change this one. So I'm going to come over here to my section settings. Click on design, dividers. Uh, this time I need that to the top. And then for that, I'm just going to have something very, very subtle and very simple. So I'm going to choose this one right here. And save. So now you can see that uh, just by making these changes, this has dramatically changed the look of our page. So this is what I would, uh, this is how I would use these section dividers. Now, as I mentioned, just go easy on them. Don't go overboard because it makes your website look very amateurish. So go ahead and try these out. Now, if you're brand new to web design, I have a course called WordPress Mastery. This course is absolutely free. Go ahead and uh, enroll in that course. This course covers everything that you need to know about WordPress. And also I have a course called Divi Blueprint 3. If you want to learn how to design awesome looking websites and use all these features um, as you see today, I also cover these in the course and a whole lot more. So the course covers pretty much everything you need to know about Divi and also goes through step by step how to build a five page website. So go ahead and sign up. All the links to that are all in the show notes below. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.